Good morning. I am starting my day off with trivia in Luna, and it's another C day, so let's get this day started. Three, hold on. <laughs> All right, so how are we doing today? Who said eight? Thank you. Yeah? Okay, question number seven. She's very ready. <laughs> if I, I wanna be. Okay. Question number seven. For the camera. Question number seven. <laughs> Let me read first. Okay, this is difficult, all right? Found in the hub of, oh, I'm losing light, wait. Oh, here, okay. Adjust, okay? Found in the hub of the magic kingdom, when was the iconic Walt and Mickey partners statue installed? I'm gonna repeat for you. Found in the hub of Magic Kingdom, when was the iconic Malt and Mickey statue, Mickey Partner statue, installed? You got it. Stay tuned for the answers. Till the end. This is our man working here at Disney Wish. Wow. Nice, right? Yeah. Let me know where you're putting that one. <laughs> I'm gonna watch for this. Okay, when you sit, you sit like this. Woo! <laughs> All right? Early morning warm up. Some people are gonna hate me so much. <laughs> All right. 15 points. I got 12 points. <laughs> we are in Luna for bingo. You feeling lucky? Sure. <laughs> Daddy, what do you think our chances are? I'm neutral. He's neutral. What do you think our chances are? Slim to none. <laughs> well, we'll do our best. Uh, that's right. Yeah. We're not here to win. We're here to have fun. Well, I'm here to win. <laughs> okay. You speak for yourself. Well, I mean, it is more fun if you win, but it's... Exactly. It's, but it is going to be fun regardless. Exactly. And you sure you don't want popcorn? I'm positive. All right. Yeah, mom doesn't want popcorn because we literally just left Marcel and Market for breakfast. I didn't film any of that because it was pretty much the exact same stuff we've been eating all week. So I thought that it was a little bit repetitive and redundant. Um, but I'm here to win. They say they're just here to have fun, but I'm here to win. So let's get this party started. Who many of you yet? My name is Katie and I am part of your entertainment team here on board the beautiful Disney Way right now. We're here to win some money! Yay! Yes, indeed. You want to win? All right, well, let's do it. But yes, like I said, my name is Katie, but here at Bingo, you can call me the baby spice of Bingo. Two, zero, we are halfway eight, through zero, bingo and we have not won yet. Mom and I were one number away on the first bingo, but we didn't win and we were nowhere close on the second bingo. So two more chances to go. Still feeling lucky. We lost. Two, one, two, nine. I'm now waiting in line to meet the Sanderson sisters, and this line is no joke. This is the last meet of the cruise for these guys, or for these gals, I should say. And I think everybody's trying to meet them at the last minute, so we'll be here for just a few minutes. Oh my goodness, look how cute you guys are! Winifred! Mary, Sarah, y'all are just adorable. The Sanderson sisters were super, super cute, but it took about 40 minutes to get through that line. Um, so that wasn't totally to be, un to be that. The Sanderson sisters were super cute, but it took about 40 minutes to get through that line, which isn't totally unexpected because it was the last day that they're gonna be greeting. And this is the first year they've done that. And they are just, so adorable. So now we're in Marceline Market having lunch and this is what we have. I have prime rib and some different sauces. I also got some crab ragoon and some roasted potatoes. And then over here I've got some mussels and shrimp 
and mom has her shrimp that she looks forward to and this is the first time she's had it this trip which is shocking <laughs> and then she got a salad and then some um, carrots and green beans and potatoes and chicken it looks like um, dad over there got a salad and then he got some um, uh, some ribeye and some potatoes and some things I can't tell what it is and um, he got a charcuterie board I had that yesterday and then I also got my dessert while I was over there and I got a passion fruit pot de creme a strawberry cupcake a raspberry caramel tartlet which I hope is very similar to the caramel tartlet they serve in the Cove Cafe and other ships but they don't have those treats here on the Wish, so I hope that's similar to that. And I got another peanut butter cheesecake, which again is just one of my favorite buffet type desserts on the ship. And then the special dessert they had today was bread pudding, and I got a scoop of ice cream and some caramel sauce. Yum, yum. After a day of thunderstorms and rain, we finally have sun, and look how gorgeous it is dancing off the sea. And off in the distance, we have land. We have not seen land since, I guess, the day before yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's Atlantis in the distance. So it definitely appears as though we are approaching Nassau. Um, I don't know why, but It's nice to see mom surmises that we may need more fuel. I don't know, but at any rate, we are coming into land and up next, we're gonna be having dinner in Arendelle. We are at dinner tonight in Arendelle and look how cute this restaurant is. Ready to be cleaning your ears in the meantime. Please be ready for these very fine meat makers. The Royal King Trio! So I got the frozen fractals, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's got glitter in it. So this drink is Ciroc, peach, and Prosecco, and it's actually quite tasty. It's a little bit tart, not too sweet. It's almost like a... If I had to say a dinner time mimosa, that's what that would taste like. And honestly, I wouldn't be mad at it for brunch either. All right, our appetizers have arrived. I got the baked scallops. And mom and dad both got the ham and cheese tart. How is it, daddy? Mm. What do you think of it, mom? Pretty good. Hi. Oh, Yes, thank you for inviting us. We're so happy to celebrate with the happy couple. I'm so glad you made
has arrived and we got um, it's the troll something or other salad and we all got the same thing dad how is it it ain't my favorite not your favorite What do you think? Our mains have arrived and I got the meatballs and pasta. Dad got the prime rib and baked potato. And mom got the pork. And it looks like all she's eaten so far are the onion rings. Yeah, that's all I got. Are those tasty? Yeah. Is the beef tasty? here and dad got the apple cake. How is it daddy? I wouldn't order it again. He would not order it again. I got the kids dessert which was a, some kind of a s'more situation and then I also got the butter cake and mom got the sundae. How's your sundae? You can't screw up mint chocolate mint ice cream. Here is tonight's lovely towel animal. And I think it's an elephant, I'm not positive. And then the lovely chocolates. So one of the jewelry stores here on the ship has this thing every night called Guess the Carrot Weight. And they put a solitaire diamond, just a loose diamond out, and you can have a chance to guess what you think the carrot weight of it is. And you do have to be present to win when they reveal the actual answer. And so tonight, I actually had the winning ticket and I could not believe it and I was so excited when I found out the carrot weight except there were two winning tickets and so what they did is they put us both in a hat and they drew the winning one of the tickets out and wouldn't you know it it was not my ticket drawn and the ticket drawn they were there so they were present to win so I didn't win. It's a $500 Tanzanite necklace, which would have been really lovely to have, but not for me. Luck was not on my side tonight. So in a few minutes, we're going to go see the Aladdin musical, which we've seen before on the Disney Fantasy a few times, but I've heard that the technology of the theater here on The Wish makes it even better. So we're going to go see it in just a few moments. We are in the Walt Disney Theater about to watch Aladdin. There is no filming or photography during the, the show, so we aren't going to be able to show any of it. It filled up really, really fast tonight. We've been getting down here about 8 o'clock every night for an 8.30 showtime, and the line was stretched all the way out to the Grand Hall, and we kind of had to fight like Hunger Games style to get a decent seat. And when I say decent seat, we're not trying to get to, to the front. We're just trying to find an aisle seat close to the back um, so that mom can get in and out fairly easily. So mom and dad can get in and out fairly easily. So we're not even trying to get up front. We're actually trying to stay close to the back and we still had to fight for that. So get here early. We finished up watching Aladdin and now we're by the Funnel Vision watching Thursday night football. The Miami Dolphins are playing in Cincinnati. They're playing the Cincinnati Bengals. It's halftime. Currently the score is Miami 12 and Cincinnati 14 and we're gonna watch the rest of the game.
that, that hit, wondered if he'd be okay. Kind of kind of asked just to get on the field tonight, and then he had this happen. So we'll see what Teddy can do to finish it. A little toss here. All right, we are back from watching Thursday Night Football on the Jumbotron. How enjoyable was that? That was absolutely lovely. I love it. It was sprinkling rain, though, so it was time to come in. Well, but it was not windy. Lots of times when we watch things up there, it's very windy. And it wasn't windy, and it was not chilly, and it was not hot. So I thought it was perfect. And then I got a few slices of pizza. That pizza on the pool deck is outstanding. I will be craving that pizza after I'm home. I mean, it's just, it blows the pizza away on the other ships. You have to wait a little while for it, but it's definitely worth the wait. I've got to get a piece tomorrow. Yes, and I have to get the barbecue tomorrow because um, I haven't had that yet. Uh, yeah, you need to get that too. Yeah, mom has had it. I have it. So oh. let's talk about a few things tonight. Okay. Let's start with Arendelle. What okay. were your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that were um, where we were sitting, you really could not see the stage very well. You couldn't, so you really couldn't get a feel for the show itself. And then the waiters were running up and down, kind of blocking the view also, which I know that's their job and they have to do that. Uh, but it still helps, it still blocks the view some. And um, and then the uh, actors were running up and down, too, which that's their job, too, which I kind of like that. Yeah, I didn't mind the actors passing us. That was, was kind of nice because they would, would talk to us and kind of wave at us. Yeah, right. There definitely are bad tables in that restaurant. And unfortunately, we had one of the bad tables. So there is a service station, not like a gas station, but a, a, a waiter service station. And all the restaurants have them, but it's basically kind of their staging area where they place the food before they serve it, where they bust the tables and, and put up the dirty dishes. And that like service area station was right between our table and the stage. And so what that means is, like mom said, we had servers constantly, and, and if you, you saw on the video that I just, I put a clip in there of it, and you should see that it's just constant servers running up and down, and it, it just definitely blocked the stage, as mom said, and, and I think that that restaurant in particular, the placement of your table is going to dictate how well you enjoy that experience. I would agree. Um, so I'm actually happy that that's the only time we're going to be in Arendelle this trip, if we come on the wish again, hopefully we'll have a different table. Um, let's also talk about the technology in the Walt Disney Theater. For Aladdin? Yes. Okay, the, the technology was great. The uh, special effects were much better than on the fantasy. Um, but I didn't think the story was as good. I didn't think the acting was as good. And I didn't think the genie was as good as it was yep. on the fantasy. And really, whenever it was announced that that musical was going to be on The Wish, my initial thoughts were that we don't have to see it, because we've seen it several times on the fantasy. But I heard reports that the technology of that theater was so outstanding that it was worth seeing again. And I will agree that the technology of the theater is outstanding. But I don't think for that particular musical the technology is worth sitting through it unless you just really want to see it again. So for us, I don't think we have to see it again. But if you want to experience the technology of the theater and not sit through something that you've watched on other ships, Seas the Adventure is outstanding. The Little Mermaid show is outstanding. And, and both of those productions also are great examples of the technology of that theater. So I would agree. Yes. I think that's that's great. Um, I think that's it for this evening. And tomorrow we have yet another day at sea. Um, it's so funny because during the uh, <laughs> during the the, um, the the pre announcements before the show, the cruise director Glenn came on and he was so excited about all these extra activities that he's got planned for us tomorrow. And uh, he was talking about, oh, you, you, you know, you should feel so special because these things, we typically only do the very long itineraries like the Panama Canal and the Transatlantic. 
So we're going to have some towel folding tomorrow, some napkin folding, and the officers on the bridge are going to come down from the bridge and teach a knot tying class. <laughs> so I really think that they are going to try very, very hard to get us into Castaway Key on Saturday because I think they're running out of things to do with us. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> but that's okay. Just give me some sunshine, and I am good. You don't have to teach me any napkin folding, towel folding, and I'm good on knots. So and just give me a shady, comfortable chair, and I can watch people all day. <laughs> so we are good. Uh, but, it, but we do hope that we get to go to Castaway on Saturday. That'll be really nice. Yeah. Um, It'll be the first time I've been off the ship since we left. That's true. I did get off in Nassau, but Mom did not. Dad did not. And so that will be the first time on dry land since... I may have trouble walking. <laughs> Monday. You know, we, we got to get our land legs back. That's right. We got our sea legs, so we got to get our land legs right. back. Right, So we're going to wrap this up for today. And tomorrow, like I said, another sea day. So we will see you then. Thanks for watching.